Um, I'm going to show you two companies, and I'm going to show you 10 years of cash returns on capital for them. And I'm going to ask you, if you had known at the beginning of that 10 years what those returns were going to be, which company you were going to own. The snappily known company A, these are real companies by the way, you can see between 1987 and 1997 made returns of about 30 to 40% in cash. Okay, so would you like to have owned that or company B, which you can see in the same period made about 15 to 25% returns in cash. So company A or company B? Who wants company A? No? Good, okay. Uh, the rest of you, I take it, want company B, yes? Can I see the company Bs, just to be sure? I want audience participation here, right? Good, okay. Now, it's an unfair question, of course. I've given you insufficient information to make the decision, so I apologise for the people whose decisions I'm about to criticise, because it was a trick question. I didn't give you enough data, because I haven't told you whether or not company A and company B can invest each year part of that capital to get that compounding effect. So, company A, well, if it was starting with 100 in capital in 1987 and it earned 30, would it be able to earn 35% on 130 the next year or not? I haven't given you that piece of information. That is a vital piece of information. Those of you who selected company A, uh, you selected this company. It's called WD-40. And if you've heard of it at all, it's because you've got an aerosol can of oil somewhere at home. Everybody got one of those? Yeah? Um, if you've got one, you never have to buy another one uh, because it's got an indefinite shelf life, I can tell you. Um, and the only reason you ever buy a second one is if you lose the little straw thing that you have on it that you spray. Um, WD-40 actually stands for Water Disbursement 40th Attempt. It was a, a formulation by a chemist and he took 40 attempts to get the right formulation for it. So that's what the company stands for. Uh, thank God he didn't stop at number 39, I suppose, given the return on capital that it, uh, that it generates. And the WD-40 company is a wonderful little company but it is a little company. It, every year it makes a great return because that is a lovely little product, that aerosol can of oil, but it's actually got a plant that's probably smaller than this room that we're sitting in and it can't invest another dollar each year. So yes, it does make lovely cash returns on capital and the management of good management and perfectly logical, they pay out the cash every year, but it can't ever grow and it can't grow value. It's like a high yield bond. It's not like a real equity. So if you selected company A, you decided to invest in that one. If you rejected company B to go for company A, the company you rejected is that one called Coca-Cola. Now Coca-Cola has got a good but somewhat lower return, but it quite clearly is able to grow its business over time by selling its products into new markets and physically selling more of the products that it sells in order to compound. Um, that's the relative performance of the two companies. The red line is Coca-Cola, the blue line is the WD-40 company. Um, so you need to know not just whether a company can make a high return on capital, but can it reinvest that capital every year?